Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to look at the advanced cycle controls for your Cero 12. If you're looking for a general introduction, we recommend our controls overview video showing up on your screen now. Advanced Operations Guide, Cero 12. You're familiar with the basics of your Cero 12, adjusting time, speed, etc. Now let's talk about some of the more advanced things you can do. To start, we need to enter the advanced menu. While in free mode, press the menu button once. From this screen, you can scroll through several menu options. We're going to start with the brake setting, which is the first setting shown when you enter this menu. The brake setting can be toggled on or off. On means braking will be applied when the centrifuge is decelerating. Off means no braking will be applied. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the time screen to adjust the brake settings. On or off will be displayed in the time screen. The brake screen will show a dash if brake is on and will be blank if brake is off. Once your brake value is set as desired, press the menu button to exit the menu or press the up arrow button to access the next setting adjustment. Our next option is beeper, which controls the audible alerts. Beeper is a toggle. Audible alerts can either be turned off or turned on. If it is on, the centrifuge will beep at the end of a cycle and beep when buttons are being pressed. If it is off, the centrifuge will not have any audible alerts at all. Beeper is a universal setting. Audible alerts are either on or off in free mode and for all saved cycles. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the time screen to toggle the audible alert setting on or off. The time screen will show the status, on or off, and update dynamically as you adjust it. Once your audible alert setting is as desired, press the menu button to exit the menu. The centrifuge will run with the selected audible alert setting until that setting is changed. Since it's a toggle, switch it back using the same process we just discussed but make sure it's on or off as desired. And that's it for our quick intro to the advanced operations on the Cero 12. You might also be interested in our guide to editing a saved cycle or advanced saved cycle options. You can click through to either of these if you'd like to learn more. If you have any other questions about your Cero 12, you can always contact Drucker Diagnostics and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.